Hi everyone. So this is part one of our European tour. If you've not seen any of our videos before, I'll just quickly recap. My name's Mary and my partner James is with me and we are traveling in an Entrusco A-Class uh, I-7400. It's a fixed island bed at the back for birth motorhome. We're also traveling with our puppy who is currently five months old, Bella. <music> drove from after finishing work we drove down to Kent and we found a lovely pub stopover so the Red Lion so we had an amazing um, stay there very peaceful we got there a little bit late unfortunately the kitchen was closed but we went in for some drinks everyone was so friendly in there they are happy for the for dogs to go in there and there was plenty of space around outside to go for a little walk and there was a field for the um, we could walk the dog so we had a really really peaceful night stay there so we're on the way as i said to go and get uh, bella's animal health certificate um, so i just wanted to talk to you really about uh, how you get one a dog or cat or pet will need to have a rabies injection or have a valid rabies injection. So the rabies injection Bella has had, that one lasts three years, and then she will need a booster injection. Now, that injection needs to have been given at least, I believe it's 21 days. To play it safe, we made sure it was at least a month before. So she had, she's had her rabies injection you also need to have had at the appointment, the vet will scan her microchip at the same appointment. And it needs to be documented that the chip was scanned and um, her rabies injection given. And um, obviously it's a really good idea and all the vaccinations up to date. And obviously speak to your vet with regards to those ones. And on the return journey, Bella will need to have a worming tablet between 24 hours and five days on our returns, uh, before we return. So once we come back into probably France, when we're on the way back up France, we will um, make an appointment with a vet and get her worming tablet done. So I've been into Abbey World Vets and we have our health certificate now for Bella. Uh, I have to say what a fantastic service Abbey World Vets, um, so efficient and it was all there. Absolutely fantastic. She's had her microchip scanned and um, that's we're one step closer to um, going over on the ferry. We have now decided to come down to Dover. We're heading towards the marina, there's a parking um, along the marina we're gonna have a walk around our, our ferry is not due i think it is four o'clock 4 50 maybe i'll have to double check that um so i think there's two it'll be two hours before um it's due to go that we'll need to be there for check in and booking in and everything passport control uh, just had to show our passports uh, they didn't need to see the animal health certificate it was just stamping our passports that's done we've driven around the corner and now we're queuing up um, with the P&O ferries and that will be obviously check in that they'll check the animal health certificate I think they're gonna want to scan her microchip and uh, check our passports and um, the other checks and things so our ferry we are due to get on is the 440 
and we're told to get here between two and three hours prior to sailing so looking forward to getting off the ferry and traveling through France So here we go, we are on the ferry. Oh my gosh. Which one did you see this? Oh, follow that one. We go over the lines. Who do we? In the middle, in the middle of the lines. There we go, we are on the ferry. Seven, so we're on seven B. On board, here we are, we're in the We've got the pet lounge, so we've come to the front of the ship with the dog. I'm just going to turn it around. It is rough sea, but it's, it's rough, but it is what it is, isn't it? There we are. Strong to moderate winds, obviously. I don't think I've been on a plane without there being a yellow weather warning, so I didn't exactly think that being on a boat would be any different. So. Here you go, so we have upgraded to the pet lounge and this is the toileting area. So Bella is having a little walk around. She's not convinced. Uh, she likes grass, she likes grass, she likes, and it's gotta be cut. It can't be long grass either. She's very fussy. But here you go, it is the pet toilet there you are. There you are. So pet toilet, at the front of the ship. So you can see in the distance, France, um, me and Bella, here we are. She's looking a bit anxious because uh, Daddy's gone to the toilet, so she's looking for looking for Daddy, but um, here we are. It's, it's very windy. So we've just come off the ferry. We managed to get on the early one, so they let us on the 310 instead of the uh, 20 to 5 and we are heading to Reims. We were gonna go and stay near a place, I'm probably saying this wrong, um, Arras, Arras. Um, that was our heading, it was gonna be a 90 minute drive because we were gonna get here at 10 past seven. Uh, but because we've come out a bit earlier, we are now heading to Reims. We'll see how far we get before we decide to have enough, we'll find an air and then we'll uh, have a little sleep. Good morning everyone. So we got to our first stop and this was a free air in France and unfortunately it was full. So um, we couldn't stop there but uh, we had to move on. But just to say actually the spaces were huge, really nice long wide spaces. Just unfortunate that we were unable to get there for um, those spaces so that was fine I looked upon search for sites and I found us another air and off we went to that air in with our fingers crossed we were tired it'd been a long day and we were hoping for an air so the next one that we drove to there was space luckily enough and this was another free air so we emptied our toilet there we emptied our waste um and we didn't have hook up we didn't use the hook up because we needed uh euros and we didn't have any euros on us we haven't changed any up since coming over so we didn't need hook up to be fair everything's on board but we had a very peaceful night it was lovely so by the end of today we should be close to the switzerland border we won't be crossing the switzerland border but we'll be pretty close to the Switzerland border and we have an air lined up, fingers crossed, uh, we will be staying there. So basically today our route is driving down through France trying to avoid the riots. Now we knew the riots were going on but I thought they were kind of just around Paris, uh, around the Paris area but they're not. So I bought up a map on the internet and there's quite a lot that are dotted around. 
uh, we were thinking of going to Dijon, but that is another area that's got riots going on. We were originally, before our change of route, we were actually going to go through, go and stay at the south of France. And in Marseille, they've got riots as well. So today, our plan actually is we're driving, we're going to drive down the roads that are no tolls. There are also country um, roads, the country roads. We will be driving um, all the way along and trying really to stay out of the big cities and trying to stay away from the riots. And we are we are travelling all the way down through France to just before the Switzerland. So these are the kind of roads that we're on. And today our sat nav says that we've got five hours, sixteen minutes of driving. Probably more like six hours, but we're going to find a. Lidl's or Aldi or supermarkets so that we can buy some milk, eggs and some meat. So I'll keep you updated as we go when we get a bit closer. So roundabouts. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they're they're a bit strange, you know, they take a little bit of thinking. There we but there's a lot of them, so plenty of practice. So these are this is what we, the roads that look like, the ones that are no tolls. They're actually okay. We came down a lot of the motorways yesterday. They were all uh, zero toll and they were absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. So I will update you as we go. So we have stopped at this air. This, well, I can't pronounce the place, but this is where we've stopped. Uh, so here we go. This is the air, so we've got picnic table. There's more spaces over there where you can see some motorhome spaces. And we just filled up our water there, two rows, 50 for 10 minutes. And they've got electric hookup around there if you want electric hookup. So that's another point there. So I believe that is where we empty the toilet. So let's have a look. Let's have a quick look. So you've got water there. You've got electric hookup as well there. And there you go, so you put your money in there, your two euros, and there you've got your bit you put empty your toilet in, more electric hookup, more water, and this is to empty your grey waste. So, so this is, as you can see, we've got all the mountains and trees all around us, just lovely. So there's one, two, there's ours, three. There's another one on the end, that's four spaces there. And there's another four or five spaces just around the corner. back on the road we are coming through a lovely village this is in France so we had a lovely stay very peaceful air last night that was a free air that was not far from the coast from not coast not far from the border of Switzerland so today we are traveling to Switzerland so this is a lovely little village that we're just passing through in France we're on the way to the fuel station we're gonna top up our fuel as we use a little bit coming up the hills to get to this beautiful village. Absolutely stunning views. I mean, look at those views. I mean, they are absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning views. The sun is shining. We're 9 a.m., 17 degrees. It is gonna be hot today. 
It is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We are on the road. We, like I said, we stayed in that air that was in a little village and um, we had a little walk in the village last night and it seemed very like a ghost town, derelict, no one around. Walked round and round the streets, no one, no one to be seen anywhere. Everything looked just like no one lived there and um, a bit spooky. And then we came to um, this car park that we'd driven through earlier and it must have been the whole village there. They were having a bit of a party. Um, I had There was a sign up which when translated said holiday committee. So um, I don't know, they were having a bit of a party there. There was, uh, what did you say they were? Line dancers. Like line dancers, but they're like in cowboy hats That's and things. Line dancing, no. Okay, yeah, so they had like cow cowboy hats and things on. Uh, line dancing and uh, music was playing there was beer uh, I tried beer I don't like beer um, that was three euros fifty James had mine and there were stalls little stalls with selling uh, loads of items that people produce and sell uh, lovely lovely um, little it was a little market and um, there was food and all sorts going on there so that's why it was a bit dead when we um, drove through it. We didn't bother with electric hookup because we are fully charged, solar panels, split charger, we are fully charged, haven't needed to go on electric hookup at all. I think the only time we'll pay for the electric is if we need our electric bikes charging, uh, but we've not yet used them as we've had two days of rain. But we're very hopeful with today being nice and sunny that we might actually get get to yeah you use our bikes or or do something like that right i'll turn it around so you can see the view there you go blue sky here he comes here he comes it looks like he's managed to work out how to use the supermarket. He went without <laughs> Google Translate because he left his phone here. So he's probably learned a few new words on how to speak French. <laughs> Hi everyone, so James has successfully gone into this fuel station and asked for, is it called a vinya, which allows you to drive on the motorway and certain roads in Switzerland. There, If you haven't got one, there's 200, uh, 200 Swiss francs fine, so don't drive on the uh, motorways unless you've got one. So we were told that we could get one of these at border control. When we got to border control, they were shut. So um, you can get these in the fuel stations and in post offices and obviously bo and border control of their own pump. There you go. So we have now stopped in an air and this is in, we are in Switzerland. So this is New Chatel in Switzerland. I'll post the address in the description. Oh, this was 20 Swiss francs. Um, 
you've got to pay on the meter the side the motor homes are on, not the side the cars sit on. Um, I've done the mistake, I had to pay an extra six euro uh, Swiss francs because I paid for parking. So it's 20 um, Swiss francs, and that's with electric, but you need a Swiss connector, not the French or the Europe or England. It'll have to be his own Swiss one because none of the other is fair. About six parking spaces, they all uh, park long ways, um, none of them parked for, beside each other. So it, it took up a fair bit of room. Uh, so we had a peaceful night there um, last night and um, funnily enough, we are actually over a motorway. So the tunnel for the motorway, where that's what the air is made on. I thought it was going to be noisy with the motorway directly underneath us, but it was a very yeah, peaceful yeah. night. We didn't hear anything. It was l absolute, um, it was lovely. It was good stop off. And um, last night we walked down to the lake. There's like a uh, lake and it's beautiful. There's shops and uh, bars. So uh, we walked down there. We had a lovely evening. Looks like Bella lovely. wants a little bit of attention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bella enjoyed her time walking in um, Switzerland. She didn't fancy going in the lake though. She's not keen on water. She doesn't like, <laughs> she doesn't like it. No. No. So we found this air and all of our airs actually so far on search for sites um it's on the app now i just wanted to let everyone know that the um coordinates that we put in actually brought us on the motorway underneath underneath the air, the air. so we were suddenly going along the motorway and it told us that we've arrived at our location so just be a bit mindful that you need to actually come out of the motorway go around and come up onto the top okay so um we had the right place but yeah <laughs> but we were underneath, we're, yeah, we're underneath and we top. needed to be on top so just bear that in mind with the um your coordinates but apart from, apart from that it was an absolutely peaceful night Hi everyone, so we pulled up last night in an air and we are still in Switzerland. This one was called Guttanen. Yeah, we pulled up and um, it was 25 Swiss francs. Um, you had to get an app, you had a QR code on, on the pay area and you had to um, scan that and they give you a code and you had to sign in. It was a bit of a hassle but it only took about five, ten minutes. Um, Big car park. I don't. There was no marking base, so you could literally park wherever you wanted. There was only one other there. Um, quiet night. Lovely little village. Uh, nice little hotel up the road. We had a few drinks in there. We yeah, um, was really nice. And I won the round of village. Very good night. And that was just before the pass. So, so yeah. So this yeah. this well, I say just before. It could be at the start or the end, depending which way you're going. Yeah. So this is by the Grimsall Pass. So don't forget, You've on the app, yeah. you must put... Start and stop. Yeah, start and stop. <coughs> Otherwise, your charging will continue once you've left. So it's a great stop. 25 Swiss francs for the night. <coughs> so there's no electric hookup. There's no services. There is a bin. And it is next door to a woodworking place where a man is doing is it carving, he's, he's carving, carving um, wood, statues yeah, yeah sculptures and statues but it's a fabulous yeah. village
We're currently driving on the Grimsel Pass. This has some amazing views. There is a dam coming up and the water is absolutely fantastic. There's some photographs that I've included on here to show you how beautiful the dam and the lake is. Now, as you can see, some of these bends are quite tight, but the, nothing that a motorhome can't handle, and we're a 7.4 meter motorhome. Once you come out of the Furka Pass, our route then took us into a tunnel. This is a 17 kilometer tunnel and took us around about 15 minutes to go through. Apart from the Euro Tunnel, this is the longest tunnel I've been in. So we're currently in the tunnel. So this is a 17 kilometer tunnel. So we've done the Furka Pass. I put my sat nav for our next stop, which is going into Italy. And our route has taken us to this tunnel. So this is the last one kilometer of the tunnel. And out, outside, in, in the van, yes, yeah, just come to 34 degrees. So it's very hot in this tunnel. It was up at 35 degrees. And then our sensor was going off for our tires, saying they're all up on 50 degrees. So we're just coming out of the tunnel. That was a very long tunnel. We were in there 15 minutes going. What we're we doing? 80 kilometers. purely for motorhomes so this car park has three tiers I don't know how many spaces it there is a lot of spaces it is 24 euros and that comes with electric hookup for 24 hours you get a view of Lake Garda and it's only just down the road a short walk to get to uh, Lake Garda it's a beautiful place it, there are signs saying no camping as this. So while you're staying there in this car park, to, uh, when you come to pay, we tried to go out of the barrier with our ticket, we scan our ticket, but it wasn't letting us. So you need to pay on the machine that's by the toilets before you leave, otherwise it won't let you uh, come out. Switzerland. So, <laughs> you just stop there. What's that? Stop the bloopers. Stop the bloopers. No, I just can't just edit. I just edit. Okay. Yeah, right. So, we are still in Switzerland and we pulled up last night to a air and it is called Guten. 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 Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, <I'm gonna> <laughs> the air is called. 
good time in in Switch. Now we'll have to do this again. Go on. Okay.